What is going on with young Hollywood today? Yes, they are showing their vaginas. And they're, they are, they're getting arrested. And they're going in for DUIs. And they go to rehab and, and rehab and rehab. And it's trying to make me go to rehab. I think the reason I want to know about young Hollywood and rehab is because I feel so out of touch with the youth of today. What is that? Is that marijuana? I wonder how much partying that Gita and I have to do to get arrested and sent to rehab. Are you guys on drugs? No. Rehab, in my day, was a really bad thing. Nowadays, it seems to be a way to reinvent your career. And they relapse over and over and over. Back in my days, if anybody went to rehab, they, they didn't come out. Terry was married to a billionaire, a star of stage and screen. Gita was a model from across the sea, gracing runways and magazines. Well, I googled Young Hollywood Scandal and up popped this name, Perez Hilton. I understand he knows all about Young Hollywood, so he can teach us everything. Perez Hilton, do you think that's his real name? I have no idea, but it sounds like he copied Paris Hilton. You don't think he's related to Paris then? I don't think so. Perez Hilton? Hello. And what, we understand and what, you're the man. Yeah, and that you dish all the dirt. I do. Yeah, we want to learn everything we can about young Hollywood and rehab. Well, have a seat. All right. Okay. Rehab is the new black. Everybody's doing it. Just 10 years ago, going to rehab was still considered a bad thing. But now, it's good for your image to go to rehab. It's good for your image? It is. You know, it shows that you're taking steps to get better. What can we do to learn? more about this subject. Well, I think you should go and party like a rock star. You know what you can introduce us to? I'd like to introduce you to two people. Go out and party with uh, Steve-O, he loves to get naked, and Kim Kardashian, and she did a great sex tape with this guy named Ray J. So I think they could really show you a side of Hollywood. Anything can happen. I think it's really important to go and see what it feels like to get arrested. I'd like to do that. Yes, and... I'm scared of that. Oh, no, that would be fun. The celebrities, they're not going to go to any regular rehab. They have to go to a very posh rehab. You know, the one that Lindsay went to last time cost thousands of dollars a month. You know, and also maybe you should check out a real rehab because not everyone gets to experience treatment like celebrities. Oh. Remember that... Wear your seatbelts and wear underwear. Well, are you ready to learn about young Hollywood, Gita? As long as I don't have to show my vagina, then I'm fine with it. You know, I don't even <laughs> think anybody wants to see our vaginas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to meet up with Steve-O and uh, Kim Kardashian. Exactly. Are you on the list? Um, I hope so. so. Yes. Sorry, ladies. Uh, not on the list, ladies. You'll be sorry. All right. <laughs> well, he's not very helpful. I just hope I can be in bed by 10 o'clock. Uh, that must be Steve-O. <laughs> Steve-O. Here we are. Perez has filled me in. I understand that you ladies want to learn how to party. How are you? Terry and Gita. Yes. Hi, Terry. Hi, Gita. We know how to party old school, but now we're going to learn how to party new school. From Steve That's Odo. right. Let, let me show you how to party. All right. Yes. Please. A little bit more glamorous. Oh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Rule number party. one to partying like a princess is you can never fall. Rule number two, you can never wait outside a club. That's just totally lame. Rule number three, VIP. So okay. rule number four, let's get in the frickin' door. Let's party like a rock star. Yeah, let's party like a rock star. I'm gonna show you what 
what really goes on in these bathrooms in Hollywood. Really? Once again, I'm not here to condone drug abuse, but it's a simple fact that young Hollywood has an epidemic going on with the stuff. Normally, all these young Hollywood starlets have their security outside the bathroom, like, locking it off. Really? I've seen entire men's rooms evacuated. You know, it's crazy, like, this is how Hollywood is. Are you guys on drugs? No. There's something, I don't think this is fun at all. I shouldn't have done any of those things with Steve-O. My head Well, he hurt. was very convincing, wasn't oh, he? Oh, I know. Steve-O is a Look very bad boy. He made us into very bad girls. You know, after a wild night of partying, I think you should go and see what it feels like to get arrested. Just a second. I'll come around, and you want to come around, too? Here. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. We've come here to get arrested. Have you done anything illegal or? How about the yes. party with Steve-O? Oh yeah. We wanted us to sniff all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. oh. You didn't get high or anything off of the rest. Oh, a little bit. It felt a little high. Atkins to Sergeant Lorenz, can you come to the front desk, please? You you would like to be arrested? Yes, yes. we would. Why? Yeah. Because Nicole Richie was here, that's what why we wanted to be here. <laughs> yeah, there's there's been a lot of people here, but <laughs> for what mm -hmm. charges? Are you guys on drugs? No. No? No. But we want to be arrested like we were celebrities. Yes, celebrities. like celebrities. Well, mm -hmm. frankly, celebrities don't get treated any differently than anybody else. No, they really? get treated exactly the same. Why don't we go outside and meet Oscar Ballion? Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. OK. okay. You know something? I don't think this is fun at all. Got the lights on. My arms are killing me. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. She came in this very door? Yep. Gita, Nicole Richie came in this very door. What are the gloves for? Gita, we're gonna need you to pee in this uh, jar for your uh, urine analysis. Okay, you go ahead and sit back to the corner, squat down, eagle style, and go ahead and pee inside. I can't see when somebody watches me. This is how it gets done, ma'am. This is jail. Okay, don't shake it. Thank you. All right, ladies, you guys need to change into these jumpsuits, please. Take off everything, including your jewelry. Who's gonna look after our jewelry? You'll get it back once you're released. Clear. Now, will this stay on record? Forever. What have I got myself into? Now, I'm going to take your picture. Look up at the camera, straight ahead. And we share this? Yes. 
You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh this is this no is... fun. I am a cute little Dutch girl, as cute as cute can be. Oh! oh. Come on up and grab your lunch. You mean we, do, we don't get to come out? Not right now. Oh my God, it is so salty. How are you supposed to drink the milk? I don't know. I can't go to the bathroom without things staring at me up there. Come on, Gita, don't be shy. I'll, I'll turn the other way. I will not. Who knows what people had who were sitting on that? Oh. <coughs> All right, honey. <coughs> I need some water. Excuse me. Is anybody there? Excuse me. Can we have some water, please? I'm coughing. That's a water fountain. What is? The sink there doubles as a water fountain. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Careful. Oh, here, let me press it again. Didn't work. There it goes. Let me hold your hair out. Oh. All right, ladies, lights out. What? Oh, Gita, come cuddle with me. All right, ladies, I'm going to pull you out. You are? Oh. Yes, sir. I have never been so grateful for anything. Oh. Now, do you like the publicity that a celebrity brings to you? No. It mm. actually disrupts the day-to-day -day operations of a police facility, quite frankly. Because not only are we supposed to house you here, we have to protect you here and mm. keep you away from the bad element. Mm. So if you were a celebrity going into the county system that doesn't have extra money, and so now they're housing someone that is not a quote-unquote real threat to society. Like Paris Hilton. Well, okay, like Paris Hilton, okay? They're still gonna serve the time. I think a lot of people wanna think it's a, a celebrity receiving some special treatment. Can celebrities pay to have their own cell? Or get something better than the yeah. average person? Yes. No, what we have is what you get. If you wanna stay at our jail, you gotta pay to stay at our jail. You have to pay? $85 a night, and you can stay in our jail. If you were sentenced here for, say, 60 days... It could get expensive. That's a lot of money. You bring one pair of underwear, one pair of socks, they supply your clothing, your jumpsuit, and they feed you that every day. Oh. I hope you enjoy it. I want to give you something before you leave here. I can't believe... Oh, my That's gosh, why. I forgot all about it. You women wear some serious bling-bling. There you go. Yes, we do. Thank yes, you. Yes, we do. Now, I think it's really important to visit rehab. What kind of dope were you doing? I was doing math. They tried to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. I think it's really important to, to go to a very Posh rehab. You know, the one that Lindsay went to last time cost thousands of dollars a month. You know, and also maybe you should check out a real rehab because not everyone gets to experience treatment like celebrities. Well, look at this. This is a rehab? Oh my gosh. Is this a rehab? A real rehab? Yes. yes. Oh, I'd love you to show us around. <laughs> Can't do the right place. You think it can help us? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. Has it helped you? It helped me. Good. <laughs> Now, are you physically able to participate in our program? You're going to have to do kitchen work. You're going to have to do some small lifting. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm Terry. This is Gita. Hi, Terry. Hi, Gita. Hi. Welcome to Passages. Thank you very much. You both much. are looking very really beautiful today. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. What was your problem? Yes, so it is. It's so hot in here. Yes, it is. Why yeah. don't you have any air conditioning? And we hear where the hurt's coming from, where the pain is. 
There's pain at the bottom of every addiction. Mm -hmm. And then we heal it. Now, are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor. I write books on metaphysics. I see. Oh, you were an dance. addict? Yes, I was. Amazing. I was an addict, I was a convict, I was a gang member. And you've overcome it all. Yeah, I'm still overcoming it, yeah. What kind of dope were you doing? I was doing meth. How, how much does it cost if you can afford to come here? It's $500 a month. A month? Self-pay, yeah. Mm. Am I indiscreet if I ask how much it costs to come here? No, not at all. It's $67,550 for 30 days. And they afford it. Most people get mortgages on their homes, they use their credit cards, they do anything to get here. Okay. okay. This is amazing. It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, how many clients do you have in this house? Uh, we put six people in each house. Oh, in each and one. Oh, wow. This is fabulous. It is. Oh, so this has a fireplace. Beautiful. This is you guys' room. So it's a detox room. Oh. It's going to be four people in this room. And you guys will be assigned to beds. These two beds that are already made right. are already people staying in. Yeah. yeah. The body tells you what you need to do, but we don't listen. It hurts? No. A little, right? No. No? Okay. Where do you store your stressors? What has this got to do with rehab? This is Joseph. Right. Joseph actually is sharing this room with you. Oh, you are? Yes. This is going to be a match. Huh? <laughs> I don't know about this. What do you mean you don't know about it? Oh, like the chain you got on? That look pretty nice there. You got a light? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. We don't smoke. What happened now, to what? your teeth? I got caught up in a crack house. And, yeah, you got what? Caught up in a crack house. Ah. Can you show us how detox really works? I mean, what happens when you detox? So what? What do you mean? Beautiful inside and out. Healthy. Happy. Mm -hmm. Two. One. And zero. Wide awake. Good for you. <laughs> how do you feel? I think I've got a much better idea. Why don't we just party? Guys can go have a seat. This is this, yeah, this is pretty much a group of relapse prevention. How to stay away from using drugs. What's your drug of choice? My drug of choice is cocaine, but the drug that overwhelmed me was heroin. How's it feel different today from seven months ago? I do have a spiritual awakening. There's just no doubt that that's happened to me since I've been here. Outstanding. Hello, ladies. Now, did you run around with some of these celebrities? I have you know a few Lux? celebrity friends that should be here. Really? Um, yeah, they're just out of control. Or, what you know? about you? <laughs> Are your parents are paying for it? This is actually the third um, rehab they've sent me to. This place is like $67,000 for one month. And you've been, this is your third facility? What do you think about uh, young Hollywood who get drunk and drive the wrong way on the through way. You or... mean the young Hollywood stars? Yeah. Yes. They they know they have money. Getting sad because a lot of Hollywood <laughs> stars, they don't realize they are setting an example. When this uh, young lady uh, that we all know went to jail and she got a right. taste of things, she changed her outlook. I think that they're just young people having experiences yeah. that we all have. But the fact that they're famous and the media follows them is blow it out of proportion. Exactly. This looks like a very good program that you have here. And we're very grateful to all of you for your honesty. And we're very much impressed that you are trying to change your lives. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now for me to just get out of this sofa, it's going to be a problem. Good luck with your children. Thank you. Thank you. After going to all these rehabs, I've realized that the key thing is that you have to want to get better. Rewarding bad behavior with a fancy vacation is ridiculous. 
you know, young Hollywood these days is crazy, but they'll learn. What do you think about Steve? -O? I hope he's going to be all right. Oh, Steve. Because I love him. <laughs> Hello, Steve. <-O>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love Hello, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, didn't you guys have fun when we all went out that night? Yeah, that was oh, fun yeah, that, that night. Was fun. You know, after this experience, Gita and I, we've learned that celebrities don't get special treatment when they're arrested and that all rehabs aren't the same and you don't have to spend a lot of money to go to a rehab. Are we going to party? Do you want to party? Now get us a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Steve-O. I must say that doing all this stuff with Steve-O makes me feel young and happy and, and I'm having a lot of fun. Everybody needs to party like a rock star every once in a while. Just know your limits. <laughs> <laughs>9, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, No way. Four, and you got a balance problem? No, I, you know what? You really shouldn't be driving today. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You've demonstrated to me well, that you well. shouldn't be driving. I'm not saying you're under the influence of any kind of drug. Mm -hmm. um, however, if you're taking cough medicine, you, you yeah, should be very right. careful. Oh, that's pretty kinky. Gita, you're terrible.